Check this out guys, Terrain Mixer is officially available through Blender's extensions library which means available from inside Blender. This also means that if we check the Terrain's Mixer product page, this one you can download, you can use it if you want it, but you don't need to anymore. You just open Blender and install it from there. How do you do it? Let's check it out. So let's launch Blender. Uh, I don't need any of these here. Go to Edit, Preferences, Get Extensions. You see the ones we already have here. I will disable some of them or uninstall some of them because I don't need them right now. And I think I'll leave these. Search, Mixer, Terrain Mixer, right? Install, wait a few seconds and it's done. It's here. It's part of your Blender installation now. So. Let's close this, open the end panel and you can do this with the N on your keyboard and go to Terrain Mixer. Here it is. Now to import the Terrain Mixer to your project, just click this Terrain Mixer Cycles Engine part here imports the Terrain Mixer and this switches to Cycles Engine because you remember this version of Terrain Mixer is actually a shader based uh, terrain generator. So let's do that. In less than a second, it's here right inside your scene. Then you have a tip here. It says, please save your project file into a separate directory before we continue working with Terrain Mixer. You don't need to do that, but this is what I suggest you to do. So Control S, I'll just save it over this file and save. Now you have this tip too saying, please pack, unpack resources. This will place them into a new directory right next to your blend file. So if I click this button that just appeared, I have just packed and unpacked the resources. So let's check that, go here. And here you see these textures folder and all your resources are now here. Back to Blender. If I would switch to the render view now, not looking very pretty at the moment. So there are just a few steps to do. First, I will switch to the GPU just so I can uh, work faster. And then I will also add TM world material and we have imported the terrain mixer world material. Another thing that I will add is terrain mixer workspaces. Workspaces are these things here. So we have different workspaces in Blender which are very useful, but most of them here are not very useful for terrain mixer. And this is why I will import the ones that are. So add terrain mixer workspaces. Here it is. We start with this one. If you want to, of course, you don't have to, but if you want to, so go here and select Terrain Mixer object, the Terrain Mixer terrain, and switch to Rendered View. Here it is. Now, for those of you who have used Terrain Mixer before, you know that with these sliders here, you can do this kind of things. Right, and that's very interesting by itself. You also have the modifiers list here. So I will just pin this. So this stays active even if I select uh, another object. And here, for example, what I can do, I can enable mask geo custom like so. And you see something has happened on this terrain. If I go here and search for masks, uh, so here we are, here are the masks and I will enable this and instead of curve we have mask sphere, let's enable it and you can see it appearing in front of you. Now if we move it, you see how it affects the terrain, of course you can change the influence. You can change the uh, sharpness. You can also change the mask object. You have seen before that we had some sort of a curve object here or the tube. Now let's disable this and enable this one and enable the curve. Here it is. And if I go here and select the curve, now 
this curve or this tube affects the terrain. If I would go to the top view, I can select all these objects here because we have handles that control the shape of the curve. So if I would select all of them, if I would move them, you see you see how it affects uh, the terrain. And of course, you can have multiple masks at once. And this is just one uh, masking system. Uh, uh, terrain Mixer has a few of them. Okay, now I will disable masks because I want to show you something else uh, that's actually new inside Terrain Mixer and I find it very useful. So you see these little uh, gizmos here and uh, they can help you a lot if you're kind of a person that likes to work inside the 3d scene rather than uh, uh, moving sliders left and right or uh, maybe even uh, working with notes which terrain mixer used to be all about so let's see what we can do with those to enable them you have to go to input controllers and select or click this button here right and now if i would move any of these gizmos i would affect uh, the overall terrain design so i can either move the whole height input like i did earlier or i can just move the mask that defines its appearance same thing here we'll move the whole input and we'll move just the circular mask for this to be even more pronounced we can go to this uh, properties menu and move this influence all the way to the left and move this one all the way to the left by selecting it and pressing g you see and now if we move it and if we move the mask, this is what happens. Now, I want to show you how you can bake your terrain, which is a very easy and straightforward process. Uh, let's just make a few adjustments. I think I will increase the strength a bit. let's go to this terrain mixer tab again and let's press zero on our numpad and then let's enter the baking mode so this is a preview of what will bake now before i do uh, the baking part i just want to tell you that while working with the terrain mixer you might want to have a better preview of what you're doing in a sense that you would maybe like to have more details well you can do that by going to this subdivision modifier and crank this up so let's see how this will affect uh, the details here we have more details right and later on i will tell you how you can get even more details <clears throat> now let's go back to baking for this i don't really need to have this uh, subdivision modifier enabled at all so i can just turn it off and you might say oh now you lose all the details no and that's the beauty of terrain mixer you don't have to subdivide anything you can bake your mix without any subdivisions and the reason for that is if we go here let's arrange it to have a similar preview let's arrange it to have a similar preview all the way to here and we'll select this height output node there you have it now if we would go back to this terrain mixer workspace you see that we have detailed height mix now to prove that of course i will have to bake this uh, height mix to a texture now before i do that i will lower down the samples all the way to one because for the height it makes i really don't need too many samples i can lower it to one or maybe 10 okay 
also i will go to the render settings and i will disable the noise because i don't need the noise for this so let's just click bake here and here we go this is your first terrain image save as we won't be using png we need open exr and we can leave this codec to zip although i think that this dwaa or at least dwab uh, is efficient enough but we'll leave it as it is this will of course generate a larger file but we don't care now and just let's name it h mix dm1 okay now what if we want to test if this works or not we can do that first let's select this terrain let's go here and press uh, dot on the numpad we'll find it here and underneath i have these two terrain planes so what i'm using them for usually is this terrain shape switch to circular you see but now i want to use this circular shape to test my height map so how can i do that well i'll select it here i'll make it selectable not this one sorry my bad okay shift d and right click so now i know it's here and it's selected and i can press m new collection okay great so you have it here as well as here now let's hide this huge collection we don't need it right now and we're left with this one now we're still referencing this terrain mixer material and this is not what we want definitely not so we'll uh, toggle this or untoggle this and go to the material and just remove it select maybe this default material okay now we have a few more steps to do so we have to of course uh, add subdivision modifier set it to maybe six uh we can go with a simple or stay with this cottonwood clark it doesn't really matter for this uh test now we'll add another modifier and that's this place and we have to create new texture go here you see that this last uh last menu here and we'll go here open and select this hmix the m1 exr okay now it seems that that it is not working but trust me it is the problem is that this terrain this specific terrain if we go here you will see that it is almost 2000 meter wide which means that the same value that you would apply to maybe two by two meters uh, wide uh, terrain just won't work here so what we do we go back here and set the strength to maybe 1000 but we can even go with a 2000 it doesn't matter now you can adjust it to your needs and it seems that we have another problem which we don't we just have to go here to coordinates and set uv and here is your beautiful terrain nice right but now you might say well i think we're missing some details here the first thing you can do of course is increase subdivision so let's crank it up to seven and you already see a lot more details but to get even more details what you will do is go here terrain mixer and click this free high res inputs and you will end up on our discord server here are some explanations terrain mixer add-on starter pack 8k plus 3 16k height maps 4k height maps how to install it's super easy after you have installed the plugin press n to open uh, end panel search for terrain mixer tab to import terrain mixer into your scene okay we have already done all that right we have unpacked the resources and all that now in that directory we have generated the textures directory we have to remove all the files that start with numbers from one 
uh, underscore one to four underscore two and replace them with the files you will download from here these 8k or 4k height maps so then you will get a lot more details on your terrain of course after you do that you will do another baking now there's also a different way in which you can replace the height inputs and that's by going uh, here you see there's this greenish turquoise frame and it says height inputs select and press tab to set custom height source e is missing sorry for that this basically does the same thing it just allows you to have more control for example if you have your own custom height maps and we will also provide a lot of new height maps uh, based on your uh, requests so expect that sometime soon just please be active on our discord server or at least join so you know when this happens now here you see all these groups are named input so if you rewind to the beginning of the video you will understand what inputs are so we have four of them and each has two uh height sources that you can switch uh, between okay i will jump back to the terrain mixer viewport i will hide this i will enable this so let's take this first input as an example input one if i go here and select the terrain and go here and enable guest inputs what i can do i can go here to this switch one i can also review it here so switch one that's this one here and i can select it press g and move it left or right so let's just uh, remove the the clipping and let's just remove this mirroring effect and a bit of strength we'll add a bit of strength let's move it back a bit now let's do the same uh, thing again let's move this switch gizmo press g so what's going on there we're switching between two height sources that are related to the input one and that's the whole logic behind it so select it press tab and here you can set your custom height sources for input one same thing here for input two and so on for inputs three and four that's about it for this video i hope you understand the benefits of the terrain mixer add-ons so please test it try it and please join discord so we can continue discussing the future of this tool there cheers